That was terrible. That was crap. That was garbage. This place sucks. Overreaction. Mondays. Monday. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, everybody. Let's go. Let's overreact. Are we good? I'm, hey, good. I'm good. Monday, I'm good. Mike, I'm good. I'm rested. Good. I'm good. It's all good. I got 600 likes. I'm good. Oh You're in a nine-year-old <laughs> hat. All right. Uh, <laughs> we know who's playing in the season kickoff. It's Chiefs. It's Ravens. One of those two teams will represent the AFC in the Super Bowl this Ooh. year. An overreaction. It's an overreaction. Uh, why? Why? Because I've got, I've got three of the last four champions. I got it in this, and then the team that hosted the AFC Championship game last year. Okay, invariably, and the MVP. It, it, invariably, uh, you know, you could take the field. It's an overreaction to say this is it. It's an overreaction. There's red in the logo this year. Oh God, whatever. <laughs> uh, I think there's a little bit of purple with there's, New Orleans. There's a little red. In the logo. Oh God, whatever. Saying, I mean, there's red in the okay, there's a purple in there. Green, so I, I I I believe these two teams are excellent. I believe they will make the playoff field. I believe that they have the the best shots entering the campaigns to win their divisions. I get it. Let's see what the Texans look like. Let's see what the AFC East looks like. Let's see who stays healthy from the AFC West. Let's see how the Chargers with Harbaugh at the controls. I don't know if you understand what day it is. It's two day. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and today is overreaction Monday. I'll just call this an overreaction at present. What else, Chris? Okay, all right. We talked to the Lions general manager earlier in this show. I remember last year on the season kickoff, the Lions were in it. We Indeed. were all like, "Hmm, that's weird." It's NFL schedule release this week. I'm going to say the Lions are going to have the most NFC primetime games this year. Ooh. Texans most in the AFC. Uh, I think that's an overreaction. Uh, I think um, the league likes to look well, hold, hold at up and coming teams. Are you saying and throw them in primetime games? Are you saying that these are that they're going to? Because again, you you can max out on your primetime games. And um, are you saying that um, no one else in the NFC or the AFC will have more than them? I think they're going to have the most in uh, each conference. Well, the Lions I, are going to have the most they, NFC. Uh, well, Texans That's a total days. overreaction. They may match. Texans up and coming. I, I, no, I, and I know that. I, I, I know that, but I, I still don't think that the NFL is going to max out their, their what is national the, is television. Four or five? What's, I think what's, it's what's the five match? or six now, maybe. I, I, I should look that up as the as somebody who's mission critical. Mission critical. <laughs> Mission critical. Um, to <laughs> the schedule release. The as the, I'm the MC of the yeah. uh, schedule release yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, mission critical. I love how the NFL refers <laughs> to people who are involved in this like it's we're landing uh, uh, on the moon. Um, I'll just say that's an overreaction. The 49ers will, will, will be maxed out. His Cowboys will be maxed out. I think the Eagles will be maxed out. Um, Ooh, really? And the Lions may, may come close if not totally maxed out. And I think the Chiefs are maxed out. I don't think they'll max out the Jets. I think they learned the, the hard way. I don't think the Texans will be maxed out. I might be wrong. We'll see. Really? CJ What else, Stroud? Chris? I mean, what else? MVP, top five. I got it. Uh, we heard from Gerard Mayo earlier in the show, and I you know, poured over those comments over the weekend. I read everything I could. I watched every video I could. After listening to Coach Mayo... Patriots need to sit Drake May for the entire it's not 2024 happening. season. It ain't happening. It's not happening. Well, it's not about if it is happening. It's that they should. They need to sit him the whole year. No, they don't. He's got to get some action. We got to get him out there. That's what the preseason's for. No, it's not. That's what practice is for. That's no, not. Practice. practice. There's no practice time. They, he, if he's not starting, he will get zero practice reps. Zero. And at some point, the, the Patriots season uh, will get to the point where you're going to see him. And certainly, if if Brissett gets hurt, need to sit up. No, need to. Sit up. No, you don't. Even Mahomes got a cup of coffee. Did you see? I saw so the, the story way, over the I weekend. I don't love. That. I I don't like that story. That 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 some that, players I, of the Chiefs. BS. That some Chiefs did, wanted Mahomes to play over Alex Smith during the season. I'm calling BS on that story. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Seven years later, we're just like, oh yeah, yeah, he's the greatest player ever now, and it's like, yeah, I wanted him to play in like week five. Yeah, we we wanted to draft Ooh. him too. Yeah. Come on. What are we doing? What else? You see the, Col uh, the Cardinals uh, signed earlier? Zay Jones is going out there. Okay. In Arizona. They got Marvin Harrison. Oh, what are you going to say got here? James Carter. Okay. We got Whatever you're saying, you don't believe. <laughs> Whatever you're about to say, you don't believe. <laughs> no, no, no. 
I call, by the way, I called TJ. this last year. So I'm not overreacting called, to what I'm assuming is on. coming. This exact same I know phrasing coming. I called last season. Okay. I just want that on the record. Oh. Surrounded by weapons, Kyler Murray, MVP finalist oh. this year. No. No. Kyler Murray. Okay. okay. You really I, believe it? Look I, me in the I, face. I called Lamar last year, did I not? Right. You did. You did. Kyler Murray, MVP finalist. Okay, pal. No way. Look at Cardinals. Sneaky play. Overreaction. Sneaky I shouldn't say no team. way. I, I will just say this. Play Overreaction. Dude, get out of here. Sneaky playoff team card. There's only three. Well, there's five finalists now. There's five. That's what I mean. Okay. Top five. Nope. Kyle Murray, top five. I don't, I'm, We're I'm, talking top I, five. I'm Why not buying that. Murray on the list? What else, Chris? All right. <laughs> couple basketball Boom. before we get out the door. <laughs> the Knicks. They turned back into a pumpkin. <laughs> Pacers went in six. <laughs> in six? <laughs> Pacers are going to win the next two. <laughs> Rich. You heard Mike bring the gas. Gas. This guy over here. Gas. This guy over here. One game from Tatum, and all of a sudden he's coming in here and he's slagging the Knicks. No, that has nothing to do with the Celtics. Okay. They lost by like 80 yesterday. Uh, you should hope you're wrong because if the Pacers win four in a row, they'll be nice and rested. No, you know, no coming to TD Garden. They might give you a better series than the the current Ickerbockers right now. So. Get out of here with this noise. This is going seven as the, as the oh, day is long. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's going seven. You know it's going seven. I don't know. You know the Knicks are winning this one, and then the Pacers are winning that one. Mm. Is Scott Foster doing game five? Ooh, uh, NBA referee assignments released at 9 a.m. Dave game. Okay. Can't wait to can't wait to come on the air at noon Eastern tomorrow. Dang, Scott Foster. Uh, what else you got, Chris? Back from the dead, guys. The Nuggets are winning the NBA championship. I don't think that's an overreaction at all. That's not an overreaction. That is entirely possible, and we're coming full circle. Came on the air today, first segment, started the show saying, why are we not ascribing to the Nuggets what we would ascribe to any defending NBA champion that has a three-time MVP on it now? Which is, they have the heart of a champion, that they are going to be at the toughest out imaginable. They dig deep. They're a terrific team that's incredibly well coached. Nobody ascribes that to the Nuggets. It's all like, okay, nice team you got there, okay. 5280. <laughs> so um, I don't think that's an overreaction at all. Yeah. That's it? That's it. Last one. Uh, nobody wants to talk about golf, but I oh, do. Oh, I know. Wait a minute. P I was about to say, PGA I can't PGA believe. PGA you. Tell me how Rory's going to do it. Tell me how Rory's going to do it. It's PGA Championship week. Tell me how Rory's going to do it. Rory is going to beat Sheffler and Captain Get out Wynn this weekend. You're out of your Major mind. Major number five. You're out uh, of your mind. Rory time, baby. Dude, Did I you see knew it. Dominant I yesterday? swear to you, I was going to say. Did you see that When yesterday? I said that's it, I'm like, where's the Rory's going to win this week? Rory's winning the PGA this week. You are like a broken clock. At some point, you're going to be right. Rory's last Get major came 10 years ago at this very I course, Valhalla, right. where they're playing the PGA. I hope you're right. Rory's finally going to do it. He's got his mind right. I heard him, what, at uh, Quail Hollow this Quail week? Hollow dominated he wins it. over the he weekend. Wins it. I heard him on the practice tee talking That's about right. Nikki Glazer's line. That's what I'm saying. He's, even, though he he's a, even though he thought a male comedian said it, and there's nobody that ever mistakes Nikki Glazer for that. Let me tell you. Rory time, baby. You're out of your mind. <laughs> Jump on it, people. I knew it. You are so predictable. <laughs> Scheffler's going to dominate. We all know it. Great overreaction Monday. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.